Hey, what's going on guys? This is Franklin here and this is part four of my affiliate video series. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make an affiliate website. And this one converts well, uh, the best for me out of all the ones I've used. Now, first you're going to need some hosting. I suggest Bluehost because they have super cheap hosting. I mean, this is really the cheapest you can get. And if you go through my link, you will get a discount and a free domain. I'll leave a link in the description for you. Now, when you um, go to Bluehost or wherever you're going to go, but I'm just going to use Bluehost for this example, you want to click Get Started Now. And you only need the cheapest plan, okay? You don't need a, um, a bigger plan because we're, we're not going to have a website with um, a lot of, you know, we don't need a lot of space. So we're going to click the cheapest one. Now, with the domain, you want to use a domain that has your keyword in it okay because our fo our main keyword is going to be on the home page now it doesn't have to be exact okay uh, people say exact um, domains help a lot and they do, and they do in some in some um, situations but then Google will sometimes slap you for having over optimized you know uh, with the with the title the meta description and, and all that and with the domain so you've got to be careful so I usually do the keyword in the domain with a, with maybe one or two other words but in this one I'm just going to do piano lessons online and online isn't part of my we'll just add a number there too because it's probably already taken online isn't part of my keyword so it's the, the um, domain isn't over optimized now in this section you just fill out all your details you don't really need Site Lock because we're going to be using something else. Site Backup Pro is definitely a good thing because you can get your site backed up every day or every week, I think. And this is very good because you, if, you in this game, there's a lot of hackers, okay? So you need to be backing up your site. Domain Privacy Protection. This um, protects all your private information. So this you definitely need this. And I suggest using your real, your real information with Bluehost because you will have to verify your account either by ringing them up and give on the on your mobile number or sending them in a picture of your ID. Now, I don't really like sending my ID online, so I ring them up and they just confirm my phone number. Then you put in all your credit card details. Now, once you've done, you'll get all your information sent to you and then you want to log into your cPanel. And this is where we're going to be installing WordPress. And then all you do is you click Install WordPress I'm not going to do it because I've already done it on this. I don't want to overwrite my website. Once you've done that, you will have a section like this. You basically pick your domain from here. You click check domain and it will install it. And then you want to go view credentials and it will give you a URL here and a password. And you want to keep this handy because you're going to need this, but you can change it once you log in. So once you've got your uh, your URL, you want to go to your URL, and mine is onlineresources.org uh, forward slash WP dash admin for this tutorial. Next thing we want to do, and this is very important, is go to settings, permalinks. You want to click post name because this will benefit us in when we do our SEO because it doesn't show all the other stuff in here. You know, you want a nice clean URL. Next, we want to go to plugins. Now, I'm going to install all the plugins now, and then I'll show you them afterwards, and I'll explain to you what they do, okay? All right, so I've got my plugins installed, and I'm going to show you exactly what all of them do. First one I've got is content copy protection. This stops anyone from copying any content on your website and duplicating it. Now, what this can do is someone could come along, copy your stuff, and make a website exactly like yours, and this is bad because it creates duplicate content, and Google might slap you for it. Or they might even out, outrank your site and make more money than you. So this is a very important plugin. It stops anyone from uh, copying your website. Disable author pages. This is very, very good plugin. It disables your author page so hackers cannot see it by clicking on your uh, name in the post that you, that you um, put up on your website. It's a, if you don't have this plugin, Anyone can just hover over your name in a post or click on your name and it will give them your username for your WordPress website and they can use a tool or brute force program or anything to try and hack your website. Next is the enhanced text widget. I'll show you how to use this soon. 
Leverage brow Browser Caching Ninja. This speeds up your website. Um, very cool little plugin. It will speed up your website and help you in Google with your rankings. Pretty Link is a like a I suppose it cloaks links. It doesn't really cloak links, but it, it will hide your affiliate links. So we're going to be using that as well. Uh, W3 Total Cachy. This will speed up your website as well. I'll show you how to use that in a minute. Um, just a standard security plugin here, your SEO plugin, and then we've got a cleanup plugin here that I'm going to show you as well. So first we will go to the Leverage Browser plugin. Uh, maybe not, I don't know what happened there. Here we go. And you just want to click Enable and Update. Standard settings are fine. Then we're going to go to Performance. And all the standard settings on this will be fine. But we do want to do a few things. We're going to go to General Settings. Just want to enable page cache here. And this just makes kind of like a mirror of your site. So when people come back to your site, it doesn't have to load again for them. And it's not slow. You don't really need to mess with any of these other settings. You can add a CDN. What this does is this distributes your content from different locations around the world so it speeds up your loading time for different countries. Now, I use Max CDN. I will leave a link in the description for you if you want to use it. I use this on all my sites. It's not necessary, but it, it will speed up your site and it does help with Google rankings. Okay, Having a fast site does help. Google really does like fast sites. WordFence is the next one. First, you want to do a scan of your website, okay? Once you're finished with it, make sure everything's fine. Standard is fine, but one thing you do want to do is change the login attempts. Now, it's an options. And you want to change login attempts to about four or five, okay? Because if it's any higher than that, it gives any kind of tool a chance to crack your web, your, crack your, um, password so you want to make it four or five there's really no chance any tool is going to crack it in four or five attempts if you have a good password that is so we're going to change this to five here now i'm not actually making a real site okay i'm not going to be using this site i was going to rank this site but i've decided not to because i'm a bit too busy but i have i'm going to be giving it to one of my students to rank so i'll leave it up to them to do what they want to do with it next one is wp cleanup now what this does is every time you edit a post or you delete something or you do anything, it leaves it leaves a trail in your WordPress. It just leaves, a, you know, a, every time you make a change to your post, it'll leave a draft. So you've got drafts here. I, or you Every now and then you just want to click everything and go empty. It will empty all of this stuff for you and it will speed up your website. It's just loading here right now. So as you can see, it's cleared a lot of stuff out. Some, sometimes it doesn't do everything, so just leave it. And there you go. You've cleaned out all this stuff on your site, all the rubbish that you don't need. Next, we've got Link Builder. Ah, oh, sorry. Pretty Link. And what this does is this will cloak your, your URLs. So you um, your affiliate link, sorry. So it, it hides it from Google and you don't get in trouble. Now let's get to the good stuff. So let's have a look at our site. It's going to be ugly. Okay, when you first start your WordPress website, it's going to look very ugly. So this isn't really what I want. So I want to get myself a new theme. I recommend my theme shop. They have the best themes. They're super fast, really good coded, and they're just a really good price. You can get some free ones on here as well. So I suggest a free one or you can buy one. If you um, click on my link below this video, you will get a 10% discount if you use the code Online Dimes. Now I've got a theme, so I'm just going to upload this theme really quickly. To do that, we we'll just click on Themes, Add New. Up the top here, Add New. Upload Theme. Oh, here we go. Sorry. And then you should have one in your 
wherever you've got it after you've downloaded it from wherever you bought it from. And you can just use, you know, the free themes that come with this WordPress, but I, I just like to use my theme shop because these themes are really, really fast. I'm going to go to activate. If we refresh here, we have a better theme. But we're going to do a few things. First, we're going to get rid of all the stuff on the side here. We don't need any of this. This just creates cluster. We're going to go to widgets. We're going to get rid of recent comments, meta tags, categories, and archives. And just leave these two here. We probably don't even really need search, but I'll leave it there for now. Next, we want to create a page. So go to pages and all pages. We're not going to be making a post right now. We're going to be making our main page for the main website. Or for the uh, front page, you know, for the main keyword, I, I should have said there. And I'm just going to delete. The, oh, actually, no, I won't delete these. It'll create 404s. I'm going to go add new page. I'm just going to put anything in the title. Well, you probably want to put your keyword. And I'm going to grab my article here. Now this article isn't laid out the best. I wasn't too happy with it, but you know, you got to tweak it and stuff. This is from a, my writer. And paste it in here. See, I've got a lot of gaps. Okay, we'll leave that for now. Next, you want to go to, you want to save this, okay? So publish. And then we want to go to settings and reading. We want to go, we want to put it on a static page. And we want to select a front page. We're going to go piano. Save changes. And now our front page where we have our main keyword and domain should have that post on it. And there we go. As you can see, we don't have any of the stuff on the side now. And we've got, a, got an article here. Now I'm just gonna fix this up really quickly so we can kind of get a better looking article here. All right guys, so as you can see, I've made my article look a little bit better. It's still not very good. Usually I would spend a bit more time and make it look really nice, but since we're in a tutorial, I don't think it's necessary. Now you can see my keywords here and another one here. And a few more up here. It doesn't have to be in bold. I would change that if this was actually going to be a website. Now we're going to work on the sidebar. First, we're going to get a banner. So we're going to get a banner from wherever our product is from. And we're going to copy this code. We're going to go back to our site. We're going to go to widgets. And we're going to add the enhanced text widget. We want to put it above recent recent posts. We just want to add the content here. Next, we want to go to Pretty Link, and we want to get our affiliate code. So I'm going to get it from here. Promote. Create. Copy. Pretty Link. Add a Pretty Link. You want to make it a 301 permanent. And you want to click no follow. This is very important. No follow this link. And click create. Oh, this slug is taken. Okay. Click create. And you want to copy this link. And you want to go back to our widget. And you want to replace this here. and save. Now if we go back to our website, we should have a banner. And it is massive. Just uh, let me see if I can fix this really quick because that's not the size we want. Okay, as you can see now, I have a banner here. I just changed the size by changing the numbers here. And you can center the banner if you want by putting some center codes in or, or some align codes. And that'll center it for you. 
Next thing we want to do is add some text in the actual page with our link. So I'm going to do that really quickly and then I will show you what I've done and explain why I did it. So what I've done here is I've added some text with a link to my product. And you want to make sure it opens in a new window and the reason this is people will get distracted and let's just say they click out of the actual product and they go and do something like eat dinner, go play with their kids or whatever. When they come back your site will still be here and they, you might possibly get, an, get a sale out of them. Now I've added it here and I've added it here. And I get most of my conversions off of these actual links here. Here, I don't get it off the banner. So this is really simple, really easy to do. Next we're gonna add a picture down here. Actually, oh yeah, we're gonna add a picture down here with some text as well. So, so we're kind of like, we're making the people read here and they get kind of interested in something and then they might click on here. Or they might keep going, they get more interested and they might click here. Or they get to the bottom and they're probably really interested in something, you know, learning how to play piano. And then you're going to have a call to action down here. So I'll do this really quickly and I'll come back and show you exactly what I've done. Actually, what I'll do is I'll I will upload it now and I'll show you just so you kind of see what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to go back to dashboard. And I'm going to go to media. I'm going to go add new. So let's go add new up here. I'm just going to drag in my picture. Okay, so I've got our image here, down here. Now we're going to go to pages. I'm going to edit my front page again. And all I'm going to do is add my image. I just found this on Google. You can find one. Just find one related to your product. We're going to center it here. And I'm just going to do some text and I'll show you what, I'm, what I've done. All right, what I've done is I've added my image here. I've added some text. Now, this is a very good text here. This is just a quick uh, example. I would usually do a lot better, make it more appealing and put in some really good call to actions. And I might use a bigger picture because I actually had a look and it wasn't very big. So what I'm going to do is go preview changes. And I've already done that here. And as you can see, I've got my image down here and some call to action. You know, secure your copy now. I'll secure your copy before they run out. Only three left. Then I'd have a link here to the product and the picture. And to do that, you just go to your picture and you click that and you put your link in. And preview changes again. If we go down. There we go. Or I would have a buy now button here or a buy now button underneath. But this has converted for me the best out of any affiliate site I've made okay so they come here they have a little read a lot of people put the product up the top here before the per the person even gets a chance to have a read and they just bounce the site because they, they're not here to buy something they're here to just you know look at piano lessons and teach their kids how to play piano but as they get down and they start to see you know usually my articles will be worded so the buyer gets I uh, attract the buyer into buying my product okay and then you've got a kind of a call to action here. It's not too too much. It's just a subtle one. And then they go down one. They've got another one that they might click on. But then when they got to get to the bottom, you've juiced them up for a, for a sale. So then they're prob probably going to buy the product. So this is a rundown of how my front page would look like. And then you we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to set up a category. Okay. So if you want to um, do some uh, other post, and then when you do your other post, you will have some here and you would edit those posts so they look the same as this. Now, let's put in a category. That's super easy. We just go to post categories. Just edit the standard one. You want to edit this because you it'll be a, a dead page if you delete it and Google will pick it up and give it a 404. I'm going to change it to piano lessons. I'll just change it to piano here. Update. 
and to add your post to the page to the I don't think you can actually add a page to a category let's have a look here no you can't so you have to only do it for a post so if we go to a post you can add this post to your category so piano it's already added when we refresh our site we now have piano here and we have our post next thing I want to do is I want to add a free ebook now this isn't necessary you don't have to do this but it, what it does is it brings in email subscribers to your page and you can then use that later to send them more products. Now, I wouldn't necessarily do it in this scenario because there's only really one product we can sell. But I'm going to set it up anyway and show you exactly how I do it. Alright, so I'm in my email platform and I use Aweber. You can use MailChimp or whatever um, you use, but I use Aweber, so I'm going to show you here. Well, I'm going to go to Sign Up Forms. And I'm going to create a sign up. Let's wait for it to load really quick. All right, so I'm in my sign up form here. I'm going to add an image, but I do need a URL. So I'm going to go back to my blog. And I'm going to upload an image here. Go add new. I'm going to add my book that I found on Google. I'm going to click on it, edit more details, and I get the U URL. I always mess that up. Copy it, go back to my form, copy it in here, and there we go. And I'm going to move it to the top. And usually I would edit the image so I can kind of get a better center and stuff like that but we don't need to do that right now or actually if I go center oh there we go so we've got a center here and then I'm going to add some text I'm just going to say I'll just type it out really quick and then we'll come back eh? all right so I've just put some text in here nothing too flash it could be a lot better next we want I want to remove powered powered by Airweber you can leave it there if you like I like to keep things nice and tight and then we're going to go go to step two and then you want to kind of create uh, I mean you should know how to set this up I'm not really going to go through it you need to set up a, an autoresponder okay and then you need to link it to this and an autoresponder is an automated message and in that message I would usually have a message that says sorry you can't download the free ebook right now we're going to fix this right away and then i'm going to try and sell them the piano ebook that i'm trying to sell or you can find a free ebook if you like and you can give out a free ebook that's fine so there's two ways you can do it you can either just say you know look you, uh, the free ebook isn't available right now and then you can uh, have a email pitch and try and sell them a new one or the one that you're trying to sell or you can actually give them a free ebook and then you know push them up do another sales pitch for the other one but I find that the first the first example works the best and then I'm going to go go to step three. Oh, go back sorry I'm just going to save the form go to step three and I'm going to go I will install my form myself I'm going to go raw HTML actually I think JavaScript might work so we'll copy this go back to our blog we want to go back to widgets enhance text we want to add it in here and we should have our form so we go refresh our page here there we go we have our ebook we have our banner and the banner would usually be centered and what's this this has done is it's not it's not overdoing anything it's nice and subtle it's not crammed with heaps of you know um, heaps of other stuff you don't want to have your sidebar full of a lot of stuff because the whole aim of the game here is to get the buyer to get your sign up to your email list and buy your product so you have a banner here you have some stuff here 
you have some stuff here and you have something at the bottom you can put a picture of someone here if you like to make it look more personal you can add maybe a few other things if you like but I, I wouldn't overdo it okay because it tends to people concentrate more on the other crap that's on here and they don't worry about buying the you know the product and then you can add your logo up here this is super easy with this theme you just go to th uh, I'm gonna go to playbook here this is the theme options here and then you just load up your logo here your favicon you can put your analytic analytic <laughs> analytics stuff in here you can change your footer text here your copyright text you got some styling options here color themes and this is a free free theme I didn't buy this theme and that, and that's it it's super simple you know with a little bit of tweaking you can really get this to look really nice um, I've still got to do a lot of editing on the actual article here but yeah that's it super simple and then you just you just make your site live and there's still a lot of tweaking to be done actually I'm gonna in my next video tutorial we're gonna cover where do we go pages here we're gonna cover on-page SEO so on-page search engine optimization which is all this stuff down here but this was just to show you how to set up your affiliate website super easy your front page and then you just want to add a few more articles if you want to rank for those articles but in this article right here we're going to be ranking for three keywords and I'm going to show you that in the next um, part five I think it is part five I'm going to show you exactly how to do your on-page SEO and how I'm going to be ranking for three keywords with this if I was to do this website so I have that out in a couple of days if you like this video subscribe to my channel and I'll have more videos coming out soon Okay, so here's an example of my site. I'm not going to be showing you most of it because I don't want to expose my niche. But I have a picture here to make things a bit more personal and a little bit of personal information underneath. And I have some so social buttons here. I've got a header. I've got all my categories, about me page and contact me. I would suggest getting those put on your website. And down the bottom, I've got just my banner and everything I showed you in the tutorial. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe to my channel and I will have my next part out in a few days and that will be concentrating on search engine optimization. Hey if you like this video feel free to check out any of my other affiliate marketing videos and don't forget to subscribe if you like my channel.